All right, everybody, let's talk about this RX 300 speaker replacement. Yours is like mine, it's getting to be 20 years old. Dry rotted woofer. Anyway, they don't come with an integrated tweeter. So for maximum base, you may consider something else, but this Pioneer replacement came highly recommended with about half the magnet size fit right into this, which you're gonna find after you get your good video on removing the panel, is this is integrated into that plastic flange. There's a real important tool for removing this, and uh, it's called a hammer. So, I just went around, bap, 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 rotate, and uh, was able to break that out, obviously with the warfare first. Uh, a couple things. I ended up using spray adhesive to put this back on because when the panel's on, you can see it's got some compression there. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'll pull this off to show you. But I ended up using, instead of the screws that came with the speaker, inch and a half self tappers. They went all the way through. There's actually a gap right here. So they had nothing to bind to in this plastic. But I went straight into the steel. There's some plastic in the back. So it's to the plastic and the, and the metal in the back. Four of those pre-drilled with a 330 seconds. And I'm probably, I bet that spray adhesive is gonna put this right back on. I went ahead and did another take on this because I want to talk about time. It took me seven minutes to remove the speaker bash it. Seven minutes in total to remove the door and the speaker. And basically to have it set in there and cut out. I used a soldering iron. Um, it was a little underpowered, so it took me a little longer than I wanted. But I soldered it back in to the old connections. You know, there's a there's a wide connector to wide and a narrow to narrow or vice versa. But that'll tell you which side's supposed to be which. And I was able to reuse the connector. So you could use wire nuts or crimps um, to put that back in. Again, the spray adhesive. There's a little extra gap in here because the integrated speaker didn't have this flange. I, it did, we, actually, that side's already back on. We're just fine. It took me seven minutes to reinstall, uh, actually from scratch, seven minutes to reinstall the speaker, pre-drilled the whole nine yards. The only thing I'm excluding is the soldering. So 14 minutes to tear it off, get it broke out, put the new speaker in, and literally reinstall the other door uh, or the door panel. So guys, this is really pretty easy fix and these speakers were real affordable. You might spend a little more money and get you something with, you know, this old magnet probably had a little more bass reflex. The original was a Pioneer and I replaced it with a Pioneer, but it didn't need a tweeter because if you've got one of these, oh my headlamp, there you go. There's tweeters integrated in the dashboard. It's a great stereo system. We're up over three minutes. Uh, what am I missing? I think that's about it. So good luck. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying my videos. You know, I've got four to 6,000 views on a couple. There's one though on insulating trailers. I really wish I could get some moving on because I think it'd help a lot of people. So take a look at that. Take a look at some of my others if you want. And, uh, and good luck with your projects. Take care. Another good solution.